Okay, maybe this next one is a better one to buy you a holiday gift from. Sonos, um, finally, that company coming out with numbers <laughs> as well. We saw the stock kind of bounce around in the pre-market as you see that earnings per share number and revenue number both missing by a bit. The shares are down by 2%. What's going on here at Sonos? This, this has been one that, that's been pretty consistently killing it, but it's been wavering more lately. <laughs> It's just a tough follow after that last one. But, uh, Julia, the conference call didn't provide a, a lot of detail. So I'm I'm looking forward to talking to a friend of the network, Patrick Spence, the CEO of Sonos, a little later on around noon, noonish, a little more about what the company is working on uh, next year. But all in all, uh, a good quarter here coming out with uh, some pretty uh, some guidance that was ahead of where analysts were thinking here. But another company, Julie, that is still dealing with supply chain bottlenecks, uh, chip supply shortages here, and you got the sense coming off this quarter uh, that they should be, their sales and results would probably be a lot better if they weren't dealing with those things, which ultimately uh, raises the situation that perhaps in 2022, uh, they'll probably go back to their more historical growth rates. Well, you're going to talk to CEOs Patrick Spence a little bit later uh, in the day, so it'll be interesting to hear what he says about all of these uh, issues.